Hello guys, welcome back to my video series tutorial to learn Microsoft Bot Framework Composer. In this video, I am going to write the echo bot. So last video I am not able to cover due to the time length I stopped that video and uh, create the second one. So here you can go to this unknown intent. I am not going to define any intent. So whatever message comes from the user, I just send back to the same message to the user. Flow. Yeah. So the default message always it will go to sorry I did not get that. We will test that also. Just starting the bot. Put in web chat. Let's connect it. Hello. So all messages, all messages go to the unknown intent. So sorry, I did not get that. We are sending the same text, whatever user sent. We are sent back to them again. Close this window. Okay, first I will delete this one. Node menu. Again, I am going to add the uh, no uh, no send response only, but I'll f start from the scratch. That's the reason I deleted it because this, uh, you know, this send re response created by the default uh, template. I don't want to this one, so I delete it. For adding any, uh, you know, you want to uh, send the response or you want to ask some questions to the user or you want to create the conditions, looping and creating the new dialogue. Everything you have to use this option only. Okay, for this sample, we need a send response so I, I click this one so the node get added here the down once added the automatically the focus go to this area bot response okay what you want to respond to the user that we have to define it here the first thing is the defaults coming text message text area if you want add a speech or attachment attachment it's uh, like uh, uh, you want to add card response hero card or image uh, some audio card or whatever it is that's come under attachment suggest action also at the moment uh, text is enough for me for this sample so I'm using this text area only click this add alternative once you click this one immediately you can see the three help menu pop up so one for the template, insert a template reference. If you define the template in, uh, in your bot response area, so the last video I explained this bot response, if you click here, you can add the template here. So once you add it, you can directly insert the template using this option. Uh, right now there are two templates is available, so that's the reason it's displaying. There is option also, you can search the template. The next one is a property, insert property reference. Bot contains some default properties, like uh, he, he, uh, bot want to maintain the activity and the dialogue related stuff. So those available here, turn dot activity, or maybe dialogue even interrupted or last results. We'll see one by one later. So this is a echo bot, so whatever user send message, I send back to them. For that, I'm using this one, turn, turn activity, turn dot activity dot text that's it see here automatically the format also it's added now we restart the bot I did not write any code just to insert the property so in the background automatically composer do the stuff for us open web chat restart the conversation we'll send the message hello Welcome, Composer Sample. So the same message we are sent back to the user. So our application is working fine. I'm click again the Add Alternative. The third option is the Adaptive Expression Pre-built-in functions. Okay, you want to, you know, calculate the length of the string. What our user sent, you want to calculate the length of the string, or maybe you want to add a date and time. There are so many things is there. 
now i am going to add only the length of the string so whatever user send the message i just calculate the length i send back to them so okay. you send number of character this much something like that so just search it length click here you can insert the turn dot activity sorry activity dot text that's it text message or sometime it will send the uh, length of the character also sorry there is a bug so something here is a problem we'll see what is that if we click any help parsing length to comma i put it should be dot that's a reason bug so if any any bugs occur it uh, you know automatically the highlighted is come uh, you know it will show here the notification if you click the notification automatically this problem area the down you can see the problem area the error will display if any warnings this area get displayed okay I just change to dot that's it now reset the bot open in web chat restart the conversation hello welcome oops something i missed out the maybe the property is some mistake that the reason is uh, displaying zero okay we'll we'll see that one and before that another option is a web chat if you click the web, web chat you can investigate okay what's going on from the emulator web chat to the composer and composer to web chat everything you can see it so click this welcome you can investigate okay what are the what activity is going what text message what is the channel id we are using it everything okay just close it close this one maybe i think i just deleted it and insert maybe something i missed out so turn activity dot text now restart the bot open in web chat restart the conversation welcome someone yeah now it's working maybe the property some keyword is something i missed out so we get the dynamic response from the composer not composer from the bot okay hello if i say okay and here you can see the one more option show code what is this we'll see show code if you click here it will default refer that template only so whatever whatever text we added here this alternative it's added into the bot response in the bot response the template is mentioned here so it's a dynamically template name has created the text is placed this one if you want to use this template maybe in another uh, uh, dialog maybe another workflow you want to use this template it, as i said earlier you can go here you can select the template yeah that's what uh, referring here activity type text refer this one okay and there is a one more option is available you can change the template name also so instead of this send activity this one and send echo maybe i'll put send activity echo i copy it go to my application at the moment the you no know, rename of the template name it's not updated all the places wherever it's getting reference it won't update at the moment maybe in future the core team will add this uh, functionality 
but once you, uh, you know it's not supporting you have to add manually so remove this one add you can select this one we get the same result there is if there is no bug then uh, it will we will get the same results so yeah it's working okay, fine next video we will see how to add the ask questions how to use input text input number input everything thanks to all bye